Hey yo, what's going on peeps? It's your boy back at it again. Now you may be wondering, why are you wearing this? <laughs> why are you wearing this fit? It's because we're going to a country concert and I decided to just go country for sure. And I'm with also with Ben Riggle. We're in Indianapolis. We're going to see Thomas Rhett and Cole what? Swindle, bro. It's going to be a fun time and I'm I can't so wait. I'm so country, y'all. Yeah, he's he's wearing a basic t-shirt. Yeah, pants. basic t-shirt. Like, he didn't even get like a cutoff or anything, bro. Like I'm trying to bro. show off my muscles tonight that I earned from the gym. Yeah, but yeah, I'm excited to go and yeah, we're going to have fun. You should be here Saying what you want around me Cooking up, cracking a cold beer Saying cheese They all sure been good years One wish It'd be that you didn't have to miss this Georgia, she's got the ball in the palm of her hand And she's a nice country fan Like I am Hey, if I got a Chevy She can flip the cord I'd drive her anywhere from here in California When this song is over I got a fine And she had me It's Carolina
I'm in my black suit, black tie. I'm out in the back doing the strong shot of whiskey. Straight out the glass. You should have slammed the door 
Folks, so that was the Thomas Rhett concert, and I just want to leave this at the end because I want to explain a few things for the people that you know actually care to go to this vlog. But we had a lot of a lot of complications getting into the concert. Like I bought my tickets and everything and stuff, but we were getting into it and such. We were pretty much scanning in like our stuff. Like I just had a GoPro right here. I had the my wallet and my keys. That's all I had, and so I put it in the basket where you get to like everything scanned to make sure you're not bringing like a gun and stuff. And basically. 
basically what happened is that apparently you're not allowed to bring in GoPros and every single concert that I've ever been in, I've been allowed to bring in like a, like a camera like this. Like in the digital world, like this, that's usually allowed and stuff. So like when I found out, I was like, what? No shot. And so we had to travel, yeah, about like a half a mile back to our parking lot, which by the way was hell by the way, because this man can't drive for crap around like other people and stuff apparently. So uh, we went back and stuff, uh, probably broke the law like two times <laughs> and we, we got to the stadium finally and we could get in and stuff. And so the next problem we had was getting to our seats. And now we were on the floor, as you could probably see. Getting on the floor, turns out it's a lot more complicated than you'd otherwise think because like there's so many people and like it's kind of hard to see because the, the lights and lights can flash and stuff. And so we were supposed to be like on row four, like seats 13. <laughs> we were having trouble finding them and stuff. And we were like 20 minutes late to the show, basically. We sadly missed Nate Smith, but we just got there in time for Cole Swindle. At least we got that experience. That was pretty epic. But yeah, we were having trouble getting to the our seats and stuff because we didn't know exactly what our seats were supposed to be. Like there was like there was like 20 seats in a row, and we we're supposed to get to the 13 stuff. And for some reason, like I I, sh I showed it to the security guard, and he was like, "Oh, uh, seat four. And then for some reason, our dumbasses were like, "Oh, we're just gonna go to seat four and stuff. We were pretty close, like to him for a bit. But then we found out as like the actual people that are supposed to be there came in, we were supposed to get out. And then it was like, "Oh shoot, okay." So we we pretty much <laughs> went in front of the damn stage basically and feel i think cole swindle might have saw us once at least yeah we, we got there and we finally got into our, our own seats and it turns out that there was someone else in our seat and that was like are you serious right now bro this is a mess and so eventually we got into our seats and everything was good and we, we celebrated cole swindle and his beautiful music after that we decided to get water to get water or like any food you have to get like a coupon or like a pretty much a receipt just to indicate that you something you ordered and so we were in the line at first and we were pretty close and then the lady told us like oh you have to get a receipt and you have to go back and i was like really we're just trying to get water we're just trying to get water man and so we go back and go to receipt and by the time there's like a line full of people and like mother and it's like we finally get the water and we drink it all down and then we get down to thomas rhett and everything goes perfectly i mean besides the fact that we didn't have like any room to do anything to dance or any stuff i was kind of between ben and like this dad and i was like kind of nervous that i was going to push the dad over from how how much movement i was having because like i'm an active guy and so that's why i can't wait for like a pit kind of environment at one point I, I think that'd be lit and yeah so that was pretty much the summary of some of the tef technical difficulties of the show it was a great show overall i think thomas rett cole swindle sounded great live and i definitely recommend them man they're great as you can see by my reactions and stuff and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you all next time ben uh -huh. want to say goodbye uh, bye guys just letting you know got an awesome summer single drop in a couple of weeks um brayden will definitely keep you all uh update with that yeah i will do and so yeah thank you all for watching this video and I'll see y'all next time. Country boy, peace.